Hi, Maria. It's great to see you here in St. Louis again. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. So what are your thoughts on Nona Caprindashvili, the first female grandmaster being here in St. Louis for the Kiran's Cup? Yeah, no, I saw uh, Nona Caprindashvili this morning at breakfast and I was really glad to see her. Uh, I remember that I also played a game with mm -hmm. her. She really? really chess when? Games. It was several years ago, but I do not remember the date. Okay, it does not matter. I mean, it's not about this. I mean, I, I'm just like, you know, admire this person, like everything that she achieved in life. And it's really good that she's here. How is it traveling and competing with your sister and sometimes against, against her? Do you guys train together? In general, I prefer to travel with my sister because I have someone to talk with. <laughs> it's a nice thing. Yeah, but okay, sometimes we have to play separately. There is nothing I can do about it. But I'm happy that this time I'm together in St. Louis with Anna. And like, okay, it's not like really that we prepare each other or like this, yeah. but we can give some advice and we can share Just our a great thoughts. support, yeah. right? Just to, to have the support. Yeah. yeah. Right. What advice would you give uh, to young girls who are just starting? Mm. Yeah, I think it matters when the girl starts to play chess. Let's say if she starts at five, yeah, I mean, maybe she's not sure that she would like to become a professional and so on. Because let's say in my case, when I was nine, I decided that uh, I would take it seriously. So um, speaking about the advice, uh, I think that the girl should understand if she likes to play chess. Because if she feels it's some other, um, there is uh, some other activities that she would like to join. I mean, it's really hard to um, take up everything, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, uh, if she really wants to play chess and uh, like to play professionally, I think she should work a lot. Maria, you have been on top uh, of women's chess for so long. What are your ambitions? What makes you keep going? Earlier, my dream was to become the world champion and I managed to achieve it in 2015. And it's truly, really, it's not really, it's not so easy to set like, you know, higher goals and like to become the world champion among men or whatever, I mean. But I just, you know, I try to improve and it's not like about setting new goals, but like say when I play the new tournament, I try to do my best. I want to win every tournament I play. If I become the winner, it's fine. If I don't become the next time. <laughs> That's not fine, so we'll try again, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I'll try again. <laughs> As a former world champion, uh, what do you think about the current state of women's chess? Anything to be improved? Mm, I think uh, some things uh, can be improved, yes. First of all, it is uh, the amount of women's tournaments. We do not have so many of them. Um, and secondly, I think it's necessary to involve young girls uh, into the chess clubs. Uh, it's quite important because like if you join like any chess club in the world, usually you see only the boys there or like and the percentage of the girls is very low. So I think it's necessary somehow to involve more girls. Who is Maria besides a uh, chess player? A former world champion, what do you do for fun? I don't know, I just have some hobbies, you know, but I just have an ordinary life, so it's not like about something special. What are those hobbies? Can you share with us? Oh, nothing special. I like to walk, you know, use the internet, just check some things which I like, and chess sites, of course, like some other things, like, you know, some other sports as well. Sounds great and thank you so much for your time and good luck with the tournament. Thank you so much.